Welcome to your Daily Focus, May the 9th, 2022. My name's Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. Thank you. Thank you truly for all the positive, loving, supportive energy you send my way each and every day. I send it right back to you. I want to make a disclaimer here. I do not have an Instagram account. So if you're getting a Tarot with Tilly from Instagram, it is not me. It's, it's probably the easiest way and the fastest way I can say it for everybody is I do not have an Instagram account. So if you get one from me, an invite or a special offer, it's not me. I'm not giving, <clears throat> I'm not doing personal readings right now. So if you get in a, a message for, through Facebook that I'll give you a personal reading, I'm not doing that. And I'm definitely not sending it out on a one-off. I would announce it here first. And if I'm trying to friend you, I'm, I'm not trying to friend you. If you want to show up to my space and listen to me and gain some guidance and some wisdom and step forward on your path, by all means, but I'm not going to go in search of you. You will find me if your angel is your spirit guys, they'll lead you to me. So I don't have any worries about that. So I'm not trying to friend anybody as well. Okay, let's get to the reason we're here. But I wanted to get that out just in case you only watched the first part of the video. At least you have some knowledge so that you won't be spammed. Your information won't be stolen. You will still have safety on the internet. I apologize so much. May the 9th. So we have the 9 energy. So the 9 energy is about changes, endings, and also inspiration, getting inspired. Why do you think you want to make these changes? Under the 9 energy, we want to make those changes so that we can make way for new things, new beginnings, new starts. We want to clear the path. We want to make space for new ideas, new, new ways to utilize our time, our energy, our resources. Inviting something in. A new environment, a new job, a new friend, a new way of doing, being, becoming. That is all under the nine energy. If we do the numerology of the day, it is a 20. The 20 symbolizes turning points in our life, decisions that need to be made, and reconstruction. We look to reconstruct our lives in some way or a portion of our life, a certain part of our life. Maybe it's through time. Maybe it's our energy. It could be also our resources, balancing the budget. Two plus zero is a two. So th that brings in the diplomacy that we can stand in today and self-knowledge, growing our self-knowledge. And maybe when we grow our self-knowledge, we understand where we need to reconstruct. And that brings in the inspiration to clear the way for new opportunities, new people, new situations, new adventures to enter our life. Sun is in Taurus. Moon is in Leo. I think for most of the day, we have that beautiful fire energy that will allow us to push ourselves forward, a very independent energy, a very beautiful energy to be in service of another. And I think after summer supper time, the moon will move into Virgo and we will start to look at more of the practical where we kind of tap into our sage wisdom, our intelligence a little bit more in making decisions in what has value and what does not have value. It's a time to tie up those loose ends or deal with something in our routine that isn't working and understanding how we can heal it or help it or fix it in some way or maybe heal or fix something else, a different portion of our life, absolutely. We get all of our ducks in the row and we really see what has value and what does not have value in our life. And we're much more content to get rid of the things that don't have value. So that goes back to the nine energy of, as well, doesn't it, of clearing the space, getting rid of what is not needed anymore, not wanted anymore, not utilized anymore. Let's see what our cards have to say. Okay, look at this, Five of Pentacles. Oh. <sighs> We're a little bit more tired, aren't we? Even though we have that Leo energy coming, or 
no we start with the leo energy so we have that leo energy at the beginning of the day and yet we are sitting there like a bump on a log almost in in a way throwing a pity party for ourselves ready to give up ready to just say the heck with it all that it's not working it's not happening losing your motivation losing your drive and this is what i've really been almost i heard the word preaching so i'll use it <laughs> <laughs> but I don't mean to preach ever, so I take that as a as a kind slap in the face for my spirit guide right now. When the planets are all in harmony, and they have been, now Mercury will be going retrograde tomorrow, so we can expect some bumps in the road, absolutely, with that happening and going forward. But we've really had strong forward-moving energy, the planets have been in complete harmony up in the sky we've just had a beautiful solar eclipse i mean it's just been beautiful and i've said over and over and over again under this kind of energy we have to discipline ourselves to do the steps to apply ourselves to put our focus on our goals our dreams our desires because we won't want to because everything's kind of going kind of good it's a lot easier to go with the flow when everything's working well. But we don't accomplish anything either. And so it comes now, we, we get into that Virgo energy coming in for the moon. And we look at what we haven't accomplished, what we haven't done, what we failed to do. Those steps we said we were going to do, we didn't do. That project we were going to start, we haven't started it. Or we've made a small attempt, but it's not the attempt we could have done. Once again, I've also been preaching about scratching your potential, looking within and seeing the pure potential of who you are, what you can do going forward and embracing it. So this is a card, I think, in the first position here telling us that we need to stand up. We need to dust ourselves off of any kind of past hurt or where we thought we dropped the ball, where we didn't do what we said we were going to do and start anew. And I tell you, when you do that on a day like today, you turn around and you see that door, that door of abundance, that door that was so close to you and you couldn't see it before. Maybe it'll take a couple of days. It depends on where you are. And But for the most part, I think a lot of us can turn around today and understand how we can actually go forward how we can actually step into what we want, making decisions. And maybe it's by letting go of something. Maybe it is a completion and ending, making space for the new beginnings. Maybe we will get inspired. We stretch, we dust ourselves off and we look around and we get inspired about where we can go. And there's a new motivator behind us now, moving us forward. We have the emperor. The emperor, well, diplomacy is definitely in... in the energy today so here we are one of the highest diplomats in, in the deck all of a sudden i can't speak and one of our highest intuitives now the thing i like about the emperor more than anything else is you've got to imagine the emperor now the emperor he wants to do something but he doesn't really know how to do it he just sees a vision of the end result so he makes a, a goal in his mind. He makes a statement in his mind of a promise to himself a commitment to himself and of course to all of his subjects and his empire, that he wants to do this. This is the end result. Now, he then would gather the information, whether it's people that have the knowledge or maybe he's got to investigate and research a little bit or maybe he's got somebody to do that and they just give him the Reader's Digest form, the, the crib notes, so to speak. And then at the end of listening to everything, he can devise a plan and he puts it together. Nobody else really had a say in what he was going to do. He gets to make the decision. You get to make the decision after you take in all the information. And we have been taking in information. Maybe there's more, but right now I'm thinking that we've got a lot of the information in order to take steps towards our dream, our goal, our desires, our wants. Now, this is where I love the emperor because the emperor doesn't hope. He doesn't wish. He's not meditating or lighting candles and praying to God as angels and spirit guides for extra help. He, he knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's going to work. 
He's asked for it. He set up a plan, a strategy on how to go after that. And he expects a return on his time, his energy, maybe his resources even. He knows that once he asks for it, they're working as well as putting all of the knowledge together. Now, does he have a plan B and a plan C? He probably does, okay? But right now, it's about devising the plan. Actually, it's about setting that goal. Maybe resetting that goal. Maybe changing the goal slightly so it's more workable. Maybe you couldn't do it because you still need to juggle some things in your timeline for the day, your routine for the day. Maybe you don't have enough income in order to really put into whatever you want to do. So how do you create a second income? How do you bring in a little bit more? And don't worry, you have talents, you have abilities. There are ways to do it. Thinking outside the box is a really big part of it all, isn't it? But with that Taurus eclipse and having the sun in Taurus right now, we're a little bit more grounded and we, we tend to stay on the, the tried and true path more than taking a risk on ourselves, going out on a limb. The Leo moon might push us a little bit more to that way. But once Virgo comes in, we're going to go a little bit more into the tried and true again. So today's the day to say, I'm going to go after that and then expect it to show up. Not wish it, not hope for it, not go, oh, I, I just would be so nice. No, it's coming. You've asked for it. You've made the plan. You've taken a step. And the King of Swords. You know what we didn't do? We didn't look at the shadow card underneath the, the unknown presence for the day. So we'll look at that last, I guess. Now we have the King of Swords. King of Swords. Well, we can ruffle, ruffle some feathers with the King of Swords. I'll be honest. We get a little impatient with ourselves and others. We want it done yesterday. We want to see the results. We want now instant gratification. And when we don't get it, we get very impatient. We don't want things standing in our way either. So this is a very good energy for, you know what? Enough is enough. It's done. I draw the line in the sand. No more. So back to the nine energy of just changing something, saying, releasing something, completing something, leaving something in the past, allowing healing in so that you can go forward in the way you want well, he's not one to set now. Our shadow card for the day. Look at this. The Ace of Cups. You can have it all. You can fill that cup to the brim and have it overflowing. That's what our shadow card is today. So this is not a day to throw in the towel. This is definitely a day to stand up and stretch and feel alive. This is a day to create happiness and joy in your life with the Leo energy too. It's the sun. We can do that quite easily. It's not a very hard energy to embrace if we want to embrace it. Okay, we will go to a mantra card and then my kids got me a new deck for Mother's Day. So yay, yay me. Um, but it's another animal deck. So we're going to try the new animal deck. I hope everybody's okay with that. Cool with that. You know what? I've been using the other one for about five or six years now at least. So I guess we're, we're due for a change. I don't like change. And under a Taurus sun, we definitely don't like change. But change is important. And like I said, the energy is really easy. So we don't want to upset the apple cart. But sometimes we need to. In order to move forward. Look at this. The epiphany. Seek clarity. Like I said. You stretch. You see that door of abundance. You see the way forward. And we have the emperor right in the middle saying yes. It is doable. We can make the plan. We can make the strategy. We can take the steps. We can gather the information that we need. Maybe we're at that stage of our development. Where we need to learn something. Maybe get a mentor. Maybe find somebody and ask some questions. Maybe Google it. Maybe take a course. Whatever it may be for you. But we have those epiphanies. We have those aha moments to what can be. We have that epiphany to our true potential and what we can actually do with our time restraints or our financial restraints or even our energy restraints. We see a way forward. We understand. We get a clarity. Maybe we've been muddling it up too much and trying to throw too many factors in. And maybe we just need to concentrate on A, B, and C instead of the entire alphabet. 
and just concentrate on that and give it the focus and see where we can develop that before we take it to the next level, the next branch. I walked around a greenhouse this morning because it was a beautiful day to do it. I didn't even read the card. I walked around the, I didn't even read the book. I went right to the new deck, but we will back up here. I do agree. I was walking around today. Oh, it was so gorgeous. Grounding yourself. Taurus is very, and Taurus energy is very much about your five senses. So I went in there and I, you know, felt the certain leaves were velvety and looking at the new blossoms and the new tree. I saw one tree that was really cool. It was a dogwood and it looked, it looked fake. I, I, it looked fake. The flowers were just starting to turn brownish on the outside. And all it was was flowers on this, what looked like a twig, but it, it had a beauty about it. It had a, a romantic beauty about it. So I, it was way out of my price line. <laughs> So I, as soon as I looked at the price, I lost a lot of interest in the dogwood, to be honest. Oh, okay, epiphany. To experience the epiphany is to have a sudden realization or spiritual flash that will change the way you view yourself and others around you. You get to see the situation more clearly as if somebody just switched on the light. With this clarity, you see truth. You gain a sense of control within yourself and you are able to make positive decisions that will bring about happy and joyful outcomes. The mantra is, yeah, I can see clearly now. So yeah, I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. No obstacles are in my way, right? I was listening to music the other day and the doors i'll quote the doors for goodness sakes but the one line and it just took me because the thunderstorm was moving in and so you heard the thunder in the background and i was sitting there and it is look inside girl close your eyes girl let the sound take you away and sometimes we need to do that. And with the Taurus energy, it's a beautiful energy to back it up, sit in nature for a few moments, go inside, close your eyes and let the sound take you away. Experience the world through sound, through your eyes, through touch. The greenhouse was a beautiful place to do that today. But I heard that and I thought, no, nah, they're trying to give me a mantra here. Now this deck came with no book. Where's the box? There we go. Spirit of the Animals Oracle. So no box, but it does have uh, beautiful, beautiful cards. I'll, I'll say that much. Beautiful cards. I cleared them. I asked for special guidance to come every time we use this card, or this card deck, this Oracle deck. And so I cannot wait Oh my gosh, who jumped out? Look at this, the link. The links jumped out. Keeper of Secrets. Keeper of Secrets. Look at that. So I'm just going to take the card back so I can read it. <laughs> take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. So we have that Taurus energy to really pull it back a little bit today and ground ourselves, experience the world through our five senses, but also be that diplomat. Understand what we need to do, how to ground ourselves, how to create, because Taurus energy is all about creating beauty, wealth, The keeper of secrets. So don't go blabbing anybody's secrets today, first of all. Don't create any kind of gossip. Somebody gives you a secret, honor it. Don't be the person who told somebody else. They told you for a reason because they trusted you and they loved you and they respected you. So don't lose that all in a second, in a heartbeat, by sharing it with somebody else's information. 
Trust your knowing. That's the emperor energy, isn't it? Trust your knowing. The emperor has a pure belief in his knowing. Of course, he brings God, his angels, his spirit guides into the mix. Because he is in the knowing. So he seeks clarity and understanding and he gets clarity and understanding. Because he expects it. He knows he deserves the clarity, the understanding, the aha moments, the epiphanies. And so should you. Know your knowledge. Know your wisdom. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. So following your, your gut instincts, following your intuition. If something inside of you is saying no, 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 it's a, it's a no. And if they're going yes, 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 it's a yes. You meet somebody, you don't feel right about them, and they might be wonderful people. I'm not saying that you, you meet somebody and they're evil and you feel it, but they don't jive with your energy. And so they will be a depletion to your energy instead of abundance within your energy and their energy as well. Take time from, out from the world and be the observer. Like I walked through the greenhouse and it was just taking in all the flowers and they're all, you know, all the flowers are blooming right now in the greenhouses and it's so gorgeous. And you walk by the mints and you can smell the mints and then you walk by, it's just gorgeous. So I, I took a, I definitely did that today and chances are I will do it again because I do like doing that. In silence and solitude, you find your strength. So go within. Understand your true potential. Know how. Remember that shadow card. It's about filling your cup. It's about, yes, you can fill your cup with the most amazing dreams and wonderments and bringing those things into reality. And that's totally up to you because we have free will. But it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to not throw in the towel. To... Dust yourself off, to stand up straight and tall, to give yourself a big stretch, turn around, seek the clarity, seek the understanding, go after those goals and dreams, set them and know they are coming and that you are deserving of it. The King of Swords, yeah, he's very much, uh, I deserve this, so I'm going after it. And if it bothers you, it bothers you. So very much, he can ruffle feathers and kind of tick some people off so we could do that today. Somebody could do that to us today. Absolutely. But it's because of a little bit of impatience to get to first base or second base or five steps up our path. Until we meet again, remember, I do love you.